New details on the nation's fight against California's wildfires. The National Weather Service says the region not out of the woods yet. It is now forecasting the strongest winds from 3 in the morning till 3 in the evening tomorrow. Los Angeles, Ventura County is expecting up to 70 mile per hour wind gusts in that mountain region. With 25 people have tragically lost their lives in these fires. More than 12,000 structures, including homes, destroyed. Tonight, 1,200 housing units are almost available for those families that have been displaced after an executive order. Of course, that hardly skims the service of those in need. 88,000 residents are still under mandatory evacuation orders. And tonight, we're getting a closer look at the damage left behind from a Colorado company with satellites over California. Your reporter, Gabriela Vidal, joins us with the images released by Maxar. These are two images, a before and after of the Eaton Fire's destruction over one neighborhood in Altadena, California. Images that one Colorado-based company says are giving first responders another tool in their efforts to combat wildfires. These are the images of flames and devastation from the ground in Southern California, but from up above. You can see how the fires are popping and glowing in this particular image. It's images like these that paint a broader picture of the destruction. It's quite a different view. Jeff Robertson is the chief operations officer for Maxar Intelligence, a space technology company in Westminster that specializes in satellite imagery. We have a constellation of six satellites right now that we have focused on taking different imagery. So we try to focus on the in initially on the immediate disaster areas where the active fires are burning so that we can help the, the first responders. Robertson says their satellites have generated over 24,000 square kilometers of imagery of the fires in Southern California using different types of wavelengths like short waved infrared sensors to help FEMA, NOAA and first responders on the ground tackle the flames. Quickly gets backhauled here in Colorado and then posted basically for the first responders to kind of look at it and help with logistical planning fire lines, understanding kind of the situation on the ground. Detailed images that don't just help with the ongoing wildfire response. You can see um, where some of the hotspots are and you can see the fire line. But also with recovery after the smoke is settled. Utility companies, as an example, understanding what needs to be repaired. Mapping companies looking at what's um, damaged roads, what's inaccessible now. These images are provided publicly through Maxar's open data program, giving even homeowners a chance to see before and after of the damage up close. You may not be able to send an adjuster into an area, but you can use the imagery to do initial assessments and possibly start claims processes. Robertson tells us their satellite imaging was also used to capture the 2021 Marshall Fire as a way to help local first responders with their emergency response. Gabrielle Vidal covering Call to First. Gabby, thank you. Our sister station, KCAL, has been tracking the wildfires closely. And your reporter, Dylan Thomas, is on the front lines helping out where he can. You can watch Dylan's reporting and stay up to date on these fires on our website, cbsnews.com.